Alright, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, uh, in this video, I would like to share how to download uh, dataset from GitHub into RStudio Right? So, first, let's say we go to GitHub MOH Malaysia Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia, Ministry of Health Malaysia So, I want to uh, download COVID uh, data I say I just, just go to uh, MOH Malaysia COVID-19 public so now uh, there is a list of uh, data set available here so this is the the variables uh, the, the data set and the description of the data set right so case state dot CSV is the daily recorded COVID-19 cases at state level as of 1200 of dates and there are many of there are many uh, data set available in this uh, github uh, website uh, for your uh, ministry of malaysia ministry of health malaysia so let's say i want to download a uh, case by state right so i just click this one right to know the link right so i just want to know the link of this uh, the cases uh, of the data set so this is a data set available so if we try to download uh, if you want to com uh, uh, co uh, download the data into our studio so we cannot simply copy the link right we need to make it in raw format so we need to click on raw it will appear this kind of uh, uh, page then we copy the link right copy the link right now we go to our studio so let me put the title of this code how to download data from github right so let's say our our url is the link that we already copied before right and then make sure we the url should be in inverted comma lah, double inverted comma right it should be in double inverted comma if you can see here right so then we can use the if you want to use since this is a csv file so we can use read.csv to download the data let's say i'm going to put this one as a data one right read csv so there are many functions available to download uh, csv to read the csv file we can use a read r function to to read csv file we can use a read dot table and then i i really prefer read and uh, dot csv instead of f read and the data table package or read underscore csv so just put url now wait we need to run the uh, url first and then run uh, the, the the function so now if you can see here ice is already downloaded the data so it's already read in data into the environment so if you can see here the data one we have 10,480 uh, observations and 13 variables so we can see dimension of data 1 so we have 10,480 variable uh, observation and 13 variable let's say look at the names of data 1 right so the this is the variable uh, contained in this data set that we already downloaded let's see the website of the covid uh, cases by state so we can compare let's compare so the first variable is date second variable is state cases new cases import right cases recovered case is uh, active until cases elderly so let's look at the tail the head of data one so we want to make sure that uh, we are downloading the correct data so let's compare with the first row 
So first row is 25th uh, January 2020, Joho, four cases, four cases, zero, and so on. Lah. So this is uh, uh, exactly the same data as in a GitHub. So this is the way, uh, one of the way, actually, to download, to import the data from GitHub to our studio. So we can try many type of data as well. So let's say we go to another uh, another uh, data set. So let's say we go to my Sejahtera, right? And then we go to check in dot underscore state dot CSV. So there is uh, some variables and methodology available in this data set. So let's go for check in underscore state dot SAV. So we have basically in here we have 5,800 and uh, 5,489 lines means uh, observation and one, two, three, four, five uh, variable. So we we did we go and click on raw button to get the link of the uh, data set. So remember, uh, notice that, I uh, just want to emphasize that this data set is uh, keep on updating a daily, right? So if you want to do uh, manually uh, download the data and store into your computer, it will take a lot of time and effort every day, right? So by using R Studio, right, we just import the data by using URL. Let's say URL2, right? Just put the, the, the link here and then I type data to read.sav since this is a SAV file, right? SAV file. So we can use this uh, method right? as long as you put it as a raw function, a raw uh, data set, then you can use uh, others function for others type of data file. So URL2, so we can see here the data is already downloaded for 5488 observations so if you look at the uh, yes there are 5489 lines I mean this is including the first the first uh, lines right so we we notice that the first line is our variable name so r is um, making the first line as a variable name and others as a observation so we have four five thousand four hundred eighty eight observation you can look at dimension of data 2 right and str of data 2 so it will show us the character the data types for each variables and the the type of data uh, data set that you already imported here this is a uh, data frame five thousand 488 observation and five variables and we can also view the data too so we can do um, data analysis data analysis uh, graphing visualization and any influential statistics by using this data so i think uh, that's all uh, how to download data from github right thank you very much assalamualaikum